Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today I'm going to show you how to make a classic lentil salad. This is a French dish. Um, when my husband and I were in Paris last summer, we went to a restaurant where they would serve these tiny little bowls as soon as you sat down, tiny little bowl with a demi tasse spoon, and you would have this lentil dish. It was, it was so delicious, so I'm going to recreate that for you today. But first we have to talk about French lentils. This is a it's just like our lentils. They have a very similar taste, but they are, they're green and not brown. And they have a, they hold their shape better. They, they have a little peppery finish to them as well. Um, if you want to buy a French lentil, Bob's Red Mill sells them. I'm sure you can find them other ways as well. But um, actually I brought these back from France. I didn't bring the Louis Vuitton bag. I didn't bring the perfume, I brought lentils home. This is one cup, which is 185 grams. And what I did was I just sorted through this. You just sort of take a couple of minutes and just sift through everything, just to make sure that there's no stones in here. You could break a tooth on that, you don't wanna do that. And every once in a while, you'll find something that gets through. Maybe you'll see a cracked lentil, you don't want that maybe a little piece of straw or grass. So I just sort those out. And now what I'm going to do is take these, put them in a bowl of water, just rinse them off, drain them, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, well, I have washed these, I've drained them, and I put them into a medium-sized saucepan with one inch of water covering the beans. And to that, I am going to add a pinch of salt, a big pinch. You can do this in chicken stock. When you use salt in beans, what happens is it actually slows down the water from being absorbed, but by very little. So I would rather have this all seasoned, and that's why I went with the salt. The, the way the water um, is absorbed into the lentil doesn't take very long at all. This will take between 20 and 30 minutes. I'm trying to infuse a lot of flavor into this in that short amount of time. I have one carrot and one rib of celery going in. This is a shallot and it's a rather large one. You know, shallots have this natural seam. So I'm going to pick this apart, put the big one whole right in there with two cloves of garlic and I'm leaving them in their skin and whole because I, I want the flavor. I don't want the garlic necessarily floating around. So that's going in. And I have two small bay leaves or one large bag. Anytime that you do beans um, or anything that cooks for a long time, bay leaf is never a bad idea. What I'm going to do now is just put this on a burner in the back, put it on high, bring it up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, put a lid on it, and when I return, I will have one carrot that I'm going to do into a fine little dice. This piece of shallot, which I'm also going to chop very, very fine, and another celery rib. And um, then we'll put the salad together. When we're back to put everything together. These, uh, these took about 25 minutes or so, but this is what these lentils look like. I have very little fluid left, as you can see, which is really nice because that means that all of the vitamins and minerals that are in the lentils stayed inside these lentils rather than go out into the water that you end up throwing away. Here we have the carrot, shallot, and the celery that you saw earlier. This is in like a five millimeter dice. That's about a quarter of an inch. And here is how we put everything together. There's different ways, of course, that you can do a vinaigrette. Primarily the ratio is three parts oil to one part acid and the acid can be, I'm using red wine vinegar today, it can be white wine vinegar, it can be lemon juice. They're all really delicious, so play around with it. And the other part to this is mustard. If, when you're doing a French vinaigrette, always use mustard. And what the mustard does is actually helps to emulsify. Mustard is such a small molecule that it actually slips in between the vinegar and the oil and it helps to bring it all together as one thing. And then we're going to soak everything together in that. So here we go. I'm going to start out with the vinegar. I'm just going to eyeball this, but I'm going with three tablespoons of vinegar. 
And so that means I need about half of a cup of olive oil. Just a little teaspoonful of mustard, a little salt, and a little pepper. Taste as you go, make sure that it's flavored the way you like it. You know, this is a salad, so you can add a lot to this. Goat cheese, nuts, walnuts, they're delicious. Different herbs, thyme, parsley, anything like that. I'm just going to move these warm lentils, dripping wet, into my vinaigrette. The carrots, the shallot, and the celery are all going in. You want these flavors to meld together, so they should go into the fridge and for at least an hour and more like three. And overnight, of course, is great. You want to serve it chilled, not straight from the refrigerator. That's a little too cold. Let it come up to room temperature somewhat. You want it to be a little chilly and refreshing. Let me just taste this. This is so delicious. I love the, the bite of the vinegar. The olive oil is just really beautiful in here. I hope that you try this. I think I have to go back to France because I'm almost out of lentils. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye, guys.